Good afternoon, my pretties, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby. You guys can find me here on YouTube as The Morning Dove, or you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Feel the Hill 7 So we are here with another unboxing, but we do have an introduction, like always. So we have our product to show off here. We got our intention resin pieces as the sphere rolls on around. And we have our chargelets and our carlets. So as usual, we have our knuckles. They're not weapons, they're just made for keychains, they're just made for fun. And then we also have like an athame kind of design for witches who need like a safe athame on their altar. So they have like the moon and the star on it. Nice. Pyramid all sparkly intention resin pieces. So if you'd like one, you can just message me in the comments or you can go to Feel the Hill 7 on Instagram and on Facebook and you can place your order. We have spheres, you know, so you can hold on to it. I can pack any intention inside you would like. You can use that as a prop. So chargelets, um, we have our new focus pieces. So if you're looking on working on a if you're looking on working to focus on a specific chakra of the body. We do make our focus pieces. Um, so this one is specifically made for the third eye. It's made with lava stone and amethyst. But if you'd like a specific chakra you like to work on, like the crown or the sacral or root, we can definitely make one. Um, and it can also be mixed. It doesn't have to be with lava stone. We can have it with you know, obsidian or onyx or whatever else you'd like. And then we also have our whole entire chakra set. So we got the whole seven chakra here with some lava stone. So if you'd like one of these chakra bracelets or one of the carlets, they're only seven bucks. So we also have our carlet as well. This is a chakra carlet and it does come with a matching chargelet. And then here is its matching car uh, chargelet. So that's nice, right? So if you like a carlet or a chargelet, they're only seven bucks. Just go ahead and feel free to leave me a comment or like I said, hit Instagram or Facebook at Feel the Hill 7 and we will get one right to you. So we have a different box this month. Um, we will still be getting our Tamed Wild box, but we do have another one. So I did order an extra one. So we have our Sugar Muses box. I believe it's the... Um, Midnight Muses, but I can't remember right now, but it is from Sugar Muses, so I'm completely excited. Um, I got the box, and it smells delicious, so I just can't wait to open it. So let's just get right into this box, baby. It's like it's gold when you open it, and it's like, let me focus. Look how pretty. I wish you guys could smell it. But here is our box. So this is the Muse box. I apologize. But it is our April 2021, the Muse box. And it is for Beltane, which we will be celebrating shortly. So this is also just the list of items that are inside the box. The print is kind of small, but it does give a description on what's inside. So if we have any questions, we can just take a look at that. And then here's the rest of it. And then she is also doing a giveaway. So if you guys would like to participate in her giveaway, go to Instagram at Sugar Muses. And, um, you know, you can just follow the directions that she's got there here as well. But I'm sure she's got them pinned to her Instagram. So go take a look at Sugar Muses. It's a great company to purchase from. The price of the box is very, very fair for the amount of uh, product that's inside it. Like this box is heavy. Let me tell you guys, this is a heavy, heavy box. So we will continue on. So we have our beautiful artwork in love. How pretty. The fragrance coming off this box is unreal, y'all. I love it. We can just leave it flat. Tuck her in. And then we have 
a card. It says Mother Earth, celebrating Mother Earth. And then it's talking about spring. Maybe I'll try to spit out the first paragraph really quickly. Spring brings us the celebration of the earth from Earth Day through the holiday of Beltane. The season celebrates renewed open and energy. Bluebells and daffodils add splashes of purple and yellow to the background of green grass and trees. Waves of strengthening light immerse the lands in sheets of golden flame, which is awesome and so true because there are wild daffodils growing everywhere over here in Pennsylvania. And I guess they're called blue bluebells because I've seen them everywhere and I don't really know what they're called. But they are purple and they are really small like this, but they're so freaking cute. So there is that. So it's a nice description of Beltane. And then we have a nice little envelope. -y. Let's open it. I don't want to ruin this sticker. I'm going to try not to. I like to add stickers to my grimoire. And we have a tarot card. It is the Two of Cups. Hmm. Lord of the Love. So significant in many ways like thank you so much two of cups is you know um, about coming together about um, you know finally meeting that second cup to fill your cup it's like an abundance of love um, you know abundance of wealth so that's freaking beautiful it looks like like a flower like a lotus oh no that's a hand okay so it takes a minute because after you keep looking at it there's more that comes about so it it's it's definitely like unity and like the divine finally you know filling up your cup with that one person um, there's a bit of Arabic on the card as well, which is very, very interesting. I might have to look it up or ask some of my um, Arabic speaking friends. And the back of the card is wonderful. And you can always go to her website and find out like what tarot deck it is from. But there's a bunch of cancer symbols all over it. And then I'm not sure what this guy is at the bottom here I have to look that up this one right here so that's the cancer symbol um, usually ruled by the moon but that is a pretty tarot card I love that looks like the divine is finally starting to shine no the divine is always shining you just got to know where to find it so that's awesome and relevant and wonderful. So thank you, Sugar Muses. Dum, da -da -dum, the moment we've been waiting for this box. Oh my Lord. I know you guys can see some of it. Do you see this box? Do you see what's packed inside this box? Swear every time I open any box, Tamed Wild, Sugar Muses, The Witch's Box, any of the boxes that I did, I feel like I'm four all over again because of all this fun stuff inside. It seriously just like <clears throat> lights my light up. So we have a nice bundle of dried herbs and it looks like we definitely have some lavender in there and I have to take a look at what the card says because, oh, it smells so good though. I'm not sure what else is added. There's... I think it's palms because we have some palms right here and then we have the lavender here but I'm not sure what this one is. I know it is a common one because I do see this all around especially here in Pennsylvania in the Northeast. So that is beautiful. I love it. Let's keep digging. And we got some scringes to get out of the way. Watch out scringes. Ooh, so I've just started my herb collection while I'm getting it, you know, started um, as we speak. But now we got some 
marshmallow root. And I've, I haven't researched this one yet, so that's freaking interesting. So let's give it an open. Let's open this and see it and smell it. Y'all know I gotta smell it. Come on. It's like, no, you can't open me. But yes, I will. I will prevail. Ooh. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting it to smell like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some marshmallow root. Let me pull some out as I spill it everywhere. So it's very like matted, like it's very woven together. But here we go, let me focus. Marshmallow root. And it's not a strong smell at all. It definitely has like a spice kind of smell to it. I'm really not the best at describing the smells, excuse me. <laughs> but it definitely smells good. And I'm gonna make sure I get that label off and stick it in a jar. But there we are. Marshmallow root to add to my collection. Love it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So I automatically see bubble wrapped items. So that means they're jars or glass items and that sends my heart on fire as well. So sh I did read a little bit. So they did give um, a grounding ritual little kit. So it comes with a candle and a little medallion with some cones. Let's give it an open. Just so I wanna see the scroll. Oh, oh my God, the incense smells so good. Now I'm confused. Was it the incense I was smelling or was it this leaf bundle, this herb bundle? So she does have her Sugar Muses um, card. So again, this is the Midnight Muses. Nothing on the back. This is just her mailer card. So that's awesome. And there's two in here. I'm sure the paper tells us what kind of incense they are, but we got two of them. And they smell delicious. And then we have our green candle with a amulet on it, our Tree of Life amulet. And that's awesome because I know the Tree of Life is everywhere, but that's what I've used, um, you know, to brand my Feel the Heal 7. So it is a little Tree of Life. So. This box is just like screaming Gabby to me right now. Thank you, Sugar Muses. So we have a little grounding ritual. Look how cute. Goes in a little scroll and she ties it so nice. Like you can just tell she puts so much love into the box. So I'll read just a tad bit. Ground rituals or grounding spells can be performed in different ways and can be as simple as five minute meditation or as encompassing as an hour long ritual bath. That's awesome and it goes into the ritual. So I won't unroll it, but there it is. <clears throat> Put all my goodies in there. Right. Okay, let's go. I guess we're gonna hit the glass. Let's see, what did we get? What did we get? Ooh, it's a candle. Oh, it smells so good. Why does this whole box just smell like love? It's, oh. Oh my lord, look how pretty. It's got a star anise in it. It's a grounding ritual candle, look. Some star anise and some herbs. Oh, so pretty. I wish you guys could smell it. Oh, I just wanna light it.
Maybe that's not safe, right, y'all? Just want to make sure you guys can see. Okay, and then we have another wrapped item. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's oil. Ooh, I love the bottle. Wait, did you guys see this? Ooh, what do we have? Spring Forest Ritual Oil. Look at this bottle. I am in love. Awesome. And then she does give the ingredients on the back. There was some boxes. Come on, camera. Focus. There was some boxes that didn't um, have the... I'm sorry, you guys. I guess nothing is going to focus my silly phone. So anyway, since my camera is not focusing, the ingredients are fragrance, sweet almond oil, and then it gives directions on how to use. Apply to skin, perform test batch before use, discontinue use should irritate occur, should irritation occur, I apologize, and consult a physician for external use only. And then it just tells you to keep out of reach of small children. So that's awesome, let's open it, let's open it, I'm excited, I love the bottle. The lid just gives me like Arabian Nights feels, right? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I'd wear this like every day as a perfume. That's how good it smells. This is freaking delicious. Oh, it smells so good. It got it on my hands. Thank you. All right, so we got to keep it digging. I gotta keep it digging. Found some incense. I love that I'm collecting them all over again. I've used about every last one of my incense that I have for ritual and, you know, for practice. So this is very, very nice. Ooh, it's very musky. Very musk. So what, they gave us like six seven eight incense so that's awesome definitely for grounding rituals ahead so that is greatly appreciated told you y'all this thing is packed there's like more stuff here it's just hidden in all of these cringies that i can't find them all right and then we're just gonna keep digging just gonna keep on digging so i see here a cinnamon apricot organic tea. Ooh, I never really liked apricot too much, so that should be fun. So it is cinnamon apricot organic tea. Ingredients are marigold petals, cinnamon apricot pieces, and fruit flavor. It is caffeine free. It's a bit metallic and like shiny, so it is a bit hard. Let me see if I can focus. There we are. Let's give it an open. And here's the back. With directions on what to do, you know, how to steep it. So that's interesting. Always love me a new tea. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Okay, this smells fucking delicious. I almost cursed, y'all. That's how good it smells. I almost cursed. Do you see all the beautifulness, the cinnamon, the apricots, all of the goodness? Fucking awesome. Oh, there I go cursing. Sorry, y'all. That's that's was beautiful. We all adults here, right? All right, so cinnamon apricot tea. And then it did come with a little tea satchel. So there we are, just a regular tea satchel. Place that over there. And we gotta keep digging. Let's go, let's keep digging. I see a satchel. 
I love the color. Look at that beautiful green. And then there is one more. All right, so let's open this bad boy. I love that green. It just matches the box. It's all Beltane-ish and springy. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, wow. Look. Not sure what it is. We will have to read, but it looks like some sort of agate, I think. Don't quote me. Pretty. And then there's another satchel in here. And I see another stone. Ah. When I was going over the pamphlet, I seen this one on it. So this is a tumbled smoky quartz. Love me some smoky quartz. Look how beautiful. Just the different dimensions in it and it's just beautiful. Good for keeping you grounded. Good for keeping you connected with yourself. All right, so excuse whatever little noise you guys hear in the background. We got a full house tonight, yo. But I believe that is the end of the box, this beautiful box as I put all the cringes everywhere. Just wanna make sure I have everything out. And that would be the end of it, my pretties. So maybe we can move some stuff around now, yes. I love this tarot card. So significant and I'm so lighting this candle. Can't wait. All right, so let's see what this guy is. So we got the tumbled smoky quartz. So that's this one. And the incense are a deep forest incense. So that matches the oil. Let's see, let's see. And then it gives you directions on how to cast a circle around you. Right, the spring forest ritual oil. And then we have our grounding candle, our organic marshmallow root. Oh, I don't have this stone yet. A stormalite. I'm going to have to do some research on this one. Let's see what it says. Tumbled Stormalite Genstone. This amazing stone is made of, possib of possibly the first living organisms on Earth. Whoa, making it 3.7 billion years old. It is said to hold ancient wisdom of the Earth and Mother Nature and is used in grounding rituals for calming the mind, meditation, past life recall, and for peaceful sleep. This stone resonates with the root chakra and can be used with grounding kit inside, the, inside this month's box. That is Freaking awesome. I love this company. Like, it just makes me want to just keep purchasing from them. Like, if you want to use your money on something, I believe that this is the box that you guys should be using it on because look at all of this. It's educational. It's beneficial. Um, it's relevant. It's got, you know, things that you can do. It's just packed, man. It's just packed. And then we have our grounding ritual kit. So where to go? That's this guy over here. Aye, botanical bundles. All right, these dried herbs and botanicals were chosen for their magical properties. Each bundle will vary slightly. I use springs of artesima, larkspur, lavender, leopardum, and rosemary. Do not burn. Place on your altar as an offering. I place mine in front of my Gaia figurine on my Beltane altar. Okay, so I, I was wrong. I didn't have any palm like I said in it but it definitely is gorgeous regardless and then what else we got we have our cinnamon apricot organic tea which is divine I cannot wait to make a cup of tea and head outside with that one and then we have our mother earth art print 
right mother earth and then we have our gaia art print and this is by christy and then our intuitively drawn intuitively drawn tarot card and then it just gives you the information on where you could find you know the details of the card you know what kind of card you know the deck came from backwards what kind of deck the card came from Maybe sometime in my life I'll learn how to speak English for you guys. But that is it, my pretties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Um, sorry if it cuts in and out at some point. You know, working with your phone, it never really works out too well. But I'm going to make sure to edit it as best as possible. I just want to thank you all for coming back to my channel. I sincerely appreciate all the love and support you guys share. Um, so please... Do your girl a big favor, hit the like, hit the share, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, tell your friends. If any of you need any advice or if you'd like, you know, to get a chargelet or a carlet, I'm here. I also do tarot readings, so if you'd like, you can also hit me up at Instagram at Feel the Heal 7. Um, you know, there are only one card draws and they are free. Healing is free in my eyes, so I don't really charge too much. But if you'd like a bigger spread, then, you know, we can talk about things like that. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Video and I thank you so much. Blessed be my prettiest. Good night.